Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci. Today I want to show you my five most inspiring guitar tones. And get ready to warm up your fingers and start to type, because what I want to see down there in the comment section is, first of all, your favorite and most inspiring guitar tones, and second of all, how did you like mine? As usual, I plugged in my guitar, started to play stuff and fiddled around with tones and tried to get inspired to make a video. I was like, why don't I just show those sounds that I end up using most of the time when I'm not shooting a video? So these are literally my most used, most inspiring guitar tones and effects and everything. Um, I wanted to share them with you and um, I'm looking forward to seeing your opinion, how you like them, if you have any questions, etc. So why don't we start with the first one, which is, well, just uh, an overdriven sound. <laughs> it's my telly going into the King of Tone, which is a very dynamic drive. I love how it breaks up if you dig in and still kind of cleans up without uh, turning down the volume on the guitar just because you play more subtly. I, I love that kind of stuff. I have a couple of overdrives that do this with like different flavors. Um, King of Tone is one of my favorites, so why not just start with that? <laughs> My second choice is, if you know me, you will not be surprised, it's gonna be a delay. <laughs> I've chosen the Wamter Metaverse in a stereo tape delay setting because, well, stereo is just ridiculous, so when you get the chance to record and you can record stereo delay, dude, oh gosh. So uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be number two. It's just so inspiring to um, pay attention to the delay like the repeats and stick to the tempo and play with it and use it as like eights or dotted eights or whatever you want. It's just fill up the holes, the space between your chords and notes. <laughs> All right, for my third 
favorite uh, guitar tone. I was a, a bit struggling here because I have two types of modulation effects that I tend to use most of the time, um, and both are different but very similar. Like for the listener, they can sound very similar. It's a harmonic tremolo and or a univibe. I always have at least one of these effects on my board, whether it's a univibe or a harmonic tremolo, one of these, one of these will end up being used a lot. <laughs> All right, for this next one, I, uh, I wanted to appreciate clean tones because I do use overdrives almost always and uh, I roll down the volume on the guitar for a cleanup. But I mean, if you have an amp that has such an insanely beautiful clean tone and nice guitars with whatever pickup, it's just awesome. But to spice it up a little bit, um, I will engage a compressor. That's something I love doing when I'm playing clean, uh, not for like a ridiculous compression. I'm not talking about the Dynacom kind of super obvious compression, just, just that little um, initial attack kind of thing and to help with the sustain, which is the biggest issue with playing clean, especially in the band, um, you just literally do not have any sustain. <laughs> And the last thing is, well, fuzz, because, because fuzz. I love fuzz pedals and uh, mostly uh, fuzz phase style pedals that will clean up really, really nicely. Because if I use a fuzz, I will use it, if, if the guitar's volume is cranked, I want it to sound full, big, rich, lots of sustain and all those things. But I also want it to still be dynamic, to a, a certain degree at least. And especially if I roll down the volume, I want it to be usable. If it just becomes super dull and sort of, you know, like a blanket on your tone kind of thing, that's, uh, then I just want to turn it off every now and then when I want to have less gain, that's annoying. So this is something that I end up using a lot. I have a few hospitals that do this really, really well. The Cast Leather Vintage King is just one of the nicest examples of it because it's silicon fuzz and it, it does the cleanup thing ridiculously well so yeah here you go <laughs> I hope you found these tones I've shown today inspiring in a way. And uh, let me know if you have any questions and do not forget to let me know what your go-to sounds and effects are in the comment section below. Meet you down there and see you in the next video next week. I'll be back. Bye-bye.